Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your HP EliteBook 840 G3 to 32 gigs of RAM. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this little laptop and of course you're gonna see how you can open it up. First things first, you need a standard Phillips screwdriver and you have to remove all the screws on the back panel, the ones that you can see and one is hidden there and I'm going to show you now in a second. I'm just going to speed things up a bit so it won't be as boring. Okay, there's your last one there, it's hidden under that SD card. Take out that screw and you are ready to remove the back panel itself. I have to say back panel comes off now easy enough you have to you have to struggle a little bit you need something plastic like i have there i don't recommend using anything made out of metal since you can damage your laptop or even worse your fingers as you can see it does resist a little bit but uh, i'd say minute two and you will have this back panel removed quite easily Okay, that's it. Back panel is off now. I'm just gonna show you the inside of back panel as well, just in case you're wondering how it looks like. And this is how your laptop looks now inside. It's all good news here. Loads of upgrade options, as you see. I'm gonna show you now closer look. There's your two DDR4 RAM slots. There's your battery. And there's 16 gigs at the moment installed on this laptop. There's your 2.5 inch hard drive slot and of course M2 solid state drive as well. And there's 256 gigs in it at the moment. I'm not going to do anything else, just upgrade the RAM itself. Uh, just to show you that this laptop does support 32 gigs and it will work with 32 gigabyte of RAM. There's your first stick of 8 gigs. And the second one here as well. So as I said, I'm going to put 32 gigs in, so that's 16 by 2. There's first one, 16 gigabyte. It's not as fast of a RAM as I had in before, but that's all I have now. So this laptop does support faster speeds, so you can do a bit of shopping online if you're looking for faster speeds. For these ones now, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can buy the same ones if you want to. Okay, that's the second one now. And that's it, RAM upgrading is done. All left to do now is uh, put the back panel back again and screw screws back in again. And you kind of have to press the back panel in, you can hear the little clips and then put the screws back. I'm gonna speed things up uh, just a bit now, so you probably don't want to see all that in real speed. And once you power on your laptop, uh, you're going to get the message about memory size change. All you have to do there is just press the enter button then. As you see there, there's a message there. Just press enter and that's it. Okay, we're in Windows now and I'm gonna go to my PC and, uh, or this PC as you say, and just to show you that it is 32 gigs and it is working with it, no problem. There you go, there's your HP EliteBook 840G3 and there's a 32 gigs of RAM. So guys, if that was helpful, press the thumbs up, press the likes button, like button of course, and subscribe of course. And you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.